These are the two cleaning brushes I'll be using in the video. One is made by Diskwasher, has very tightly packed bristles on this side, so tightly packed I can't see them with my naked eye. And this side has an inspection mirror, which is magnified. The other brush is the supplied freebie that comes with the Shure, which is rudimentary, but it does the trick. Hmm, I wonder if this stylus needs cleaning. Nope, looks clean as a whistle. To use this microscope for this application, you mount this part called the optical bracket 180 degrees around by undoing the two screws under the base plate. And this part called the optical stack, you mount upside down so, so it shoots up. Once you do this, you now can focus on things horizontally by adjusting this and then rotating this wheel to do your focus and adjustment. This screen is adjustable and it also has a protective film on it uh, to keep it from getting damaged. Looks better without the film, but the film actually doesn't really impede its use. So here's the stylus, about as clean as I can get it. Let's uh, take an even closer look by zooming in using the digital zoom, which is quite impressive on this microscope because it has a very high resolution sensor. So even with the digital zoom, you don't get a lot of pixelation. You can see the diamond is sort of a greenish color at the end of the shank. This is an elliptical stylus. So now we have it as, as sharp as possible, but we're going to intentionally as clean as possible, but we're going to intentionally dirty up the needle by playing a minute of record. So I'll come back in about a minute. Okay, so we're returning the needle to the rest, pushing a weight against the arm to kind of get rid of that shake, turning off the platter. So there's the dirt from the record. I think it's largely uh, human. Mostly skin cells, they say, dust is primarily made of. Let's clean it off with the supplied Sure brush. It's amazing how you can see those individual fibers. And in theory, you should always stroke from the back forwards, but with this view, I feel kind of safe doing a little bit of side-to-side -side action, even up and down like this. But it's great that you can see your results, so you know exactly when it's as clean as can be. So that was cleaning with the Sure brush. Next, I'm going to try it with the Diskwasher SC2. So again, I'm going to intentionally play the record to get the needle dirty. Okay, so played a couple of minutes of the record and let's take a look at the dirt. It is filthy. Ooh, look, the dirt moves. Yikes, it's like alive. That's from electrostatic charging, I'm moving my hand in front of it. Yeah, check this out. This is me kind of moving my hand nearby. So here's cleaning with the SC2. It has finer bristles. Let me get rid of that arm shake by pushing my stabilization weight. There we go. So that's how you clean the stylus using a digital microscope. You actually look and get to see when you have cleaned it successfully. Very cool. Thanks for watching.